Hi, I created a little script which uses Puppeteer to block uh, single JavaScripts in your website and then tests uh, Web Vitals KPIs. So the basic idea is that you could identify with such a script uh, the JavaScripts which are not good in terms of speed and user experience for um, your site. And um, by kicking them out you would have improvements uh, which is an indicator that you should do something with the JavaScript. Um, okay, so it tests two KPIs. Uh, it tests uh, LCP and CLS and let's start with Reddit as an example. So this line is the basic measurement, so that's the baseline with all JavaScripts, it's I think uh, 56 JavaScripts being switched on and loaded. And this line shows you how, how, how the, the page performs if you kick out this uh, JavaScript. And it tells you how the largest full content full paint is affected and it also tells you how, how many, how, how's the, how the influence is on um, layouts being shifted. Um, okay, in addition the script now is able to take some screenshots because you maybe want to uh, check out the first impressions with, doing, with the screenshots and uh, the basic idea is actually of the whole script not to uh, manually have to switch on and off the scripts and check the effects on the page. Um, okay, but let's check Reddit and Reddit has done in general a good job I would say. Um, that's the baseline, 12 seconds uh, of course with a slowdown connection. And if you check down here, then you find some stuff which you could kick out and optimize um, the speed, basically. This is a speed KPI. But if you kick out YouTube in this case, then the article would not work anymore because it's a video article. Um, then in Reddit, there is some things like ads, like here and here uh, and here. Um, if you kick them, double click, yeah, if you kick them out you improve the speed but yeah, then you don't earn money anymore, I think. Um, then you have some GTM stuff and I don't know, I'm not working for Reddit so I don't know in detail what these scripts are doing but uh, maybe email verification models and uh, chat message input maybe these could be loaded later. They are already async but maybe these could influence the speed in a good way if you load them later. I don't know. Uh, in general um, Reddit is really well in terms of the usage of async so you see most of the scripts are loaded async. This little ad script is a super small one so I guess it's okay if you don't load it async but um, yeah most are loaded async so I think that's well done. Um, then the layout shifts uh, here you can do whatever you want you always have a good scoring which is an indicator that um, especially with the ads they do the sizing of the ad before um, they load the ad JavaScripts, which so that so that the ad, the the site is not moving after a, an ad was uh, implemented. So I think that's really good. Um, what you can also see here is uh, with the screenshots. If you go through the screenshots. You see there is a screenshot for every JavaScript which was blocked. So this is the screenshot of this JavaScript being blocked. And if you go here then you see it's, uh, it's always looking the same. So, the, so almost no JavaScript was able to, no JavaScript being blocked was able to like fuck up the whole site. Um, which might be related to 
layouts being stable and sized before JavaScript is coming into place. Okay, so let's check another project. That's actually the project I'm working on. And uh, there is more potential. And uh, actually it was the reason why I built the script because I don't want it to go through all these and uh, switch them on and off manually to find out the effects on speed and uh, UX uh, of the scripts. And um, what you can see here is that's the baseline. Uh, interesting for me, why can the numbers be higher if something is kicked out because in this case Google Analytics is kicked out and it, it, it's a higher number than here. Yeah. Anyway, what you would do here too is like you go down and check uh, the script with the biggest effect on optimizing LCP and um, what you can see here is like these are all internal scripts so it's like assets and uh, it's npm packages and interesting for me is the the number one question would be can we load some of these async and what's the effect if you kick them out um, and here maybe that's interesting if you want to check with the scripts uh, with the screenshots here so in this case uh, you see these that's the main script, model, la la la. Here, this npm, that was the script we were talking about. And you see, if you kick them out, if you just kick them out, the whatever script you kick out, it really destroys the page. Uh, the image is not loaded anymore. Uh, there is this white space and so on. So something is wrong. So it's really, it's not so easy that you can say, ah, oh, yeah, you have to load them async. But in these cases, you have to check in detail what's the problem and probably you would not have this huge uh, speed improvement anymore if you fix it so uh, you see it, with reddit it's like not a big jump at some point and the big jump here between these numbers is coming from yeah that all of these uh, basically ruin the whole page and not load the images anymore Okay, but maybe it's interesting to check the others. So like uh, go here and um, filter out uh, these assets. And then you can see, okay, there are some candidates like ads, ads. Uh, that's interesting, but it's not so much speed improvement here. In general, um, Async could be used more often, I think, um, and maybe maybe the player could be kicked out or ads could be kicked out or done better. This would improve a little bit. More interesting with these pages, um, now I take out this filter again, is uh, the layout shifts. Because there you can see it's a really bad score. The basic the, the baseline testing with all scripts switched on is 1.2 uh, 1.27 actually and you should be 0 0.1 or yeah needs improvement you want to do that so 0 0.1 is your goal um, so this tells you that the, the site is moving a lot which is uh, a bad UX KPI and um, you can go f scroll through and this one would solve the problem but we learned that all the assets here now I can filter out assets again but we can do it maybe differently um, all the assets here like for now I would not touch uh, because uh, we need to, to know what's in there of course, if you kick out all the stuff, uh, it would um, improve the numbers a lot, but yeah. So maybe these are interesting ones. So there is again this uh, ad script, which is not loaded async, but in this case, um, this script seems to, if you kick it out, the, 
the page gets pretty stable. So this one could be a candidate. Uh, this one has also some improvement. It's also related to ads. This one is related to ads. Also a lot of improvement. So like you go from one point, what was it, 1.27 to 1.44 with basically two of the ad related scripts. So that's a, a, uh, an indicator that um, there is something with the ads moving the page. Um, yeah, interesting here with the screenshots, um, you have a lot more variations of screenshots if you go here. It's moving a lot and it's, uh, that's an indicator that the sizing of the ele elements is done after a JavaScript is coming in. Uh, and uh, that's an indicator to destroy this code here. Yeah, so I'm looking f uh, forward to get some uh, feedback and uh, maybe you want to run the script uh, by yourself. Uh, I wrote a, a Medium post about it and there's another video I will try to add here um, if you want to learn more. And maybe you can run it with your site and um, let me know about uh, problems and also about learnings. And I hope this was like uh, an interesting entrance into uh, what to do with such a script. Bye.